Don Ultra Dishwashing Detergent. What the heck does that have to do with bees? Well, maybe you'll find out if you watch this video. A few days ago, my friend Greg Burns from Nature's Image Farm and Mike Berry came over and helped me work some bees. Greg brought some queens down. We were able to introduce those uh, into some colonies, as well as uh, have a really good time with some other bee adventures. If you want to see that video, you can just watch it here. But what is this video about? Don Ultra Dishwashing Detergent is one product that can be used to help wash your bees to determine how many mites are in the colony in order to help determine treatment effectiveness. So I asked Greg while he was here to demonstrate this. He is a big proponent of the Don Ultra uh, mite washes. The bees were very agitated. It was not a perfect test, but we were able to kind of get that done and he explained the principles behind it, I think very effectively. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you really like what you see, if you hit that like button, I'd appreciate it and uh, formulate your own conclusions. All right, so these bees are really fired up. We just took some out of here and moved them around, but, but Greg is gonna demonstrate how he does his mite wash with the Dawn Ultra dishwashing soap. So you probably have a one and a half tablespoons of Dawn with a gallon of water. That's about right. And what we're finding is we're getting twice as many mites with the Dawn as opposed to the alcohol. So we've switched to do nothing uh, only Dawn uh, in our wash cup. And that's a big deal because if we aren't treating early enough, I think that's why a lot of our colonies are going downhill um, because that threshold's way too low before we actually start. We've got that cup ready. And then at home, what I like to do um, is find the, the frame that has uh, some sealed and some open brood. Now the problem with this right now, Bruce, is there's not enough bees on there to um, scrape off of that side. Those bees walked around to this side here. So I'm gonna just take my, that's mostly nectar. What do you want to do? You want me to try to take a sample off that, or let's find, just try. Let's just, just try see if we, can. if we get enough bees to scrape to come down. So what do you do there? Or did you get some in there? Yep, there's enough. And what we'll do is we'll just count the bees. Yeah, that would be a good idea. They're, they're, they're pretty ready. Yep. And I'm going to take another. There's a, there was a little bit of brood off of this side. We're gonna get a, a sample off of, uh, off of both. Mike, grab the bottom of that for me. Look at these, we've got these bees fired up, didn't we? They sure do. Let's fall in there? Yep. Just a few. Oh, you're killing them as you do that, okay. I didn't know how you did that. Now, ideally, right now they're so fired up, they're flying off the frames. But ideally you're doing that when all the bees are on the frame, you're just making that one little roll down, two, three, and then there's plenty of bees in there. For now, this will, give us, uh, this will give us something to work with. There's nothing there, you think? Well, I'd like to see a little bit more, but we can shake it and then count the bees. Okay. And just, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, think we, I think we've got 100 in there. Yeah, I'm just showing you the technique. That's it. We'll else. shake it for a minute and a half. We'll look underneath here. Mike is the how to shake a cup master. Mike, tell us how you do that. Why put this rascal I want to show you how I do. Okay. Because it's not a how to, it's how I Ooh, do. These bees are crazy, man. These, these, these Alabama uh, bees are bad. I thought mine were bad. This is. I know. Do you see anything? I uh, see. Is there one? One. Is that one? Yeah, it's one. Two. There's another one up in there. No, maybe not. Well, yeah, but we only got, what, about 100 bees? Yeah. We'll find out. Yep. So let's go, let's go away from these bees and we'll take these ones out and count them. That's smart. We've got one in there. Now, Mike, in Louisiana, do you guys have a targeted threshold yes. before you start treating? Yes. What is that? 3%. 3%? What about you, Bruce? It's 300 half a cup. I don't have a... No threshold yet. I just, I was all, I've always thought three, but three. I'd like it to be much less actually. Yeah. Three in a, in a, in a half a cup. Is that would be three percent. That'd be one percent. That'd be one percent. That's a very good threshold. Yeah. So you know, when you, when you do half a cup, that would be good. Three would be a great number. We go for we try to go for about two percent. Yes, I and, heard that. And what's good, or what's 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 what I like about these particular cups is, yeah, the Don sucks, but it's not that it it, it kind of goes away quick. Um, we can you can look right down into the there's there's lines inside of here. Yeah. I don't know if we got enough to even. That one just flew in. You might have to dump them out and let the suds settle. Okay. So. Yeah. So we're actually gonna count them and see how many bees we have. Make sure we have at least a hundred. 
Ideally, you want 300, don't you? Isn't that the ideal number, what you say? What's cool about these is you've got two lines in here. I don't know if you can see that, Bruce. You've got the top line, which is 300 bees, and the line below that's 200. So there's you have the 300 line, and then below that's the 200 line. Yeah. So if you are shaking your bees into a tub or something and scooping them out, you can quickly see before you put them in the, um, the thing, uh, in that basket, what your number is. Bruce, it looks like we've got 93 bees and one high view. Or a ginormous mic. I'm glad, I'm glad he was, I'm glad the <laughs> Everyone was counts. Yep. So 93, so that's one mic, let's well, just say in 100. Yeah, but that was just a real quick test. If, if we were really wanting to check, we would have gone in and done more, but we already had those bees stirred up. But most just wanted to show the technique, and I think one mic in 93, that's definitely gonna be below the threshold. You know, even 1%. If it's, just say 1%, yep. so. Bruce, look at this, this is, what, this is what's interesting. Um, there's a lot of a lot of talk about what's going on with these differences but if you actually look at the bees they're still very flexible and so are their legs their legs are still very loose when we do them in an alcohol they kind of stiffen up and they kind of get this rigor kind of a thing going and i think the difference is i think why the dawn actually is better um, than alcohol i think with the alcohol the, not only the bees, but the mites, the mandibles and their legs are clinging onto the bees and not slipping off the, the, the honeybee um, as easy as the mites are slipping off the honeybee with the soap. Um, I think that's why we're, we're finding that difference. To support that theory, we, we took a video for the learning yard um, on our channel and we did just that. And we, we, did, uh, we took the two frames of bees, uh, had, some, had some emerging brood and open brood that was just getting sealed. We shook both those frames off into a tub, busted that tub down in the corner to get that accumulation of bees, took a scoop out of that, and one went into the Don, a scoop, and went into the alcohol, gave it to some students to shake, then for a minute each, then they switched, they, and they, they, they uh, each shook the others, and then they, they counted, and we passed it around, and everybody counted. We found zero mites with the alcohol. We found four mites with the Don, but here's the kicker. What do you think happens when we wash the alcohol sample that had zero with Don. You got some mites. There's no mites. No, because. And I think that proves this theory. That they're, they're, they're grabbing they're on. Tightened on. They're, they're tightened up, they're set in, they've got rigor, they're locked in, they're not coming off that bee. And I think that that just supported that. Huh. So that's what we're doing now. That's like like Mike says, this is not a, this is not a how to, this is a how we do. I'll say this, all the colonies uh, last year that I treated based on my Don results, and I actually got serious about it, and I hit them with a one-two punch, every single one of those made it through the winter time. All the bees that I had treated like it wasn't that serious, with just a 2.4% uh, that late in the year, every single one of those dies, died, including over 100 nukes in one isolated yard. So that's why I can get a little bit fired up about this, because it, not only am I killing bees, uh, but you're losing money in the bee yard if it's a business. And it seems like using Don and using these numbers is not only saving bees, but uh, it's saving you a lot of money if it's a business. All right. Thanks, man.